what does Lost Island have up their sleeve? And Six Flags CEO is earning a $3 million bonus when the merger is complete. And Track is on site for Kings Island's brand new family boomerang. We're going to be covering all of this and more in this week's theme park news update. Let's get started. <laughs> From now on, we're going to be doing a theme park news update weekly, covering all of the news that the amusement park industry has to offer. So basically, I'll run through all of this week's news from the amusement park industry, and I'll give my thoughts on it. Okay, starting off with Six Flags' as CEO. Salim Basul will be earning $3 million bonus when the merger closes. This is for his quote-unquote continued contributions to the company as they begin the merger agreement of the two companies. $1.5 million of that will be in stock and the other $1.5 million will be paid in cash. Now, I know a lot of people were not very pleased with Salim Basul as CEO, but he still was a CEO, and he didn't drive the company to bankruptcy. So I feel like the $3 million payment is pretty decent. And I definitely feel like the $3 million bonus is definitely fair. Next up, Six Flags Great America is doing a ton of upgrades this offseason. They will be retracking Viper, and they're also going to be working on Joker and American Eagle. Wizard is also going to be getting a completely brand new control system. Condor is also going to be reopening, and they are going to be renovating the front entrance. Overall, I feel like these upgrades just make the park nicer and have a better atmosphere overall. And I do feel like this was a good move by Six Bikes and Great America to just make the park a little bit better. Sometimes a big attraction isn't the thing that a park really needs. A lot of times, it's just some little improvements like the ones that they are doing right now. And I honestly think this is a W for Six Flags Great America, and I think it will help the park out a lot. Moving on to my home park of Kings Island. We have some good news because the brand new Family Boomerangs track has arrived. And construction has started on Camp Snoopy. I'm definitely excited for the new coaster because it's a new coaster. And I really feel like the Camp Snoopy revamp was a much needed addition. I think everything should open on time and we should hopefully experience no delays. And I would expect Camp Snoopy and the Family Boomerang to open with the rest of the park on opening day. Just as long as there's no major construction delays. Heading over to Iowa for some news about Adventureland. Adventureland is going to be removing four rides this off season. And no, it's not Monster. It appears that Galleon, Clipper, Frockhopper, and Runabout all will be removed this off season. These are definitely some smaller rides, so I don't think they'll be too missed from the park. But as always, it's never great to see some attractions removed from a theme park. Now, will these be replaced with anything, like, noteworthy? Probably not. Maybe like a kiddie ride or two, but I wouldn't bet on it. And I'm okay with this move, because it makes sense. Sometimes you have to remove something to keep the footprint low, or maybe those are just getting too hard to maintain. But trust me, there's most likely a good reason why they're choosing to remove these four rides. And let's just hope they replace it with something cool. Next up, we have some pretty exciting news from Busch Gardens Tampa. It appears the Skyride at Busch Gardens Tampa was testing yesterday afternoon. And I feel like Skyride has been closed for a while, and I know a decent amount of people who like these types of rides. I thoroughly enjoyed my Skyride experience when I visited Cedar Point over the summer. And I thought it was pretty cool. It offered good views, it felt really nice on a hot summer's day, and I have no complaints about it. And I'm glad to see that this should be hopefully opening up pretty soon. We have even more news coming out of Six Flags this week. Six Flags is now partnering with Google, Dell, Snowflake, HCL Tech, Field, and Pure Imagination Studios. It appears we'll be trying to use technology to create a better guest experience, along with using AI and other stuff along the way. Do I actually think this will have a major impact on the guest experience? Probably not. But I feel like we can expect some cool new features coming to the Six Flags chain. And I honestly feel like that would be a pretty welcome addition. So I think this could be a pretty good deal. And I feel like it will minorly improve the guest experience. Just don't expect any drastic changes to the guest experience. It'll stay about the same, but hopefully a little better. Now we're on to the fun stuff. Six Flags Fiesta Texas is going to be adding two new rides to their Boomtown section of the park. We don't have any information on what the attractions could actually be. And all we know is that it's set to open in late May. I would expect these to be more mild attractions, maybe even kiddie rides. 
And I think the most thrilling that would go would be some, like, moderate thrill rides. But honestly, we have too little information right now to really speculate on what these attractions could actually be. And when we do get more information, I will update you all in another theme park news update. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my weekly theme park news updates. Because from now on, I will be doing these weekly to keep you guys updated on all of the latest theme park news. So, I feel like these two rides will be a welcome addition for Six Flags Fiesta Texas, as most rides are. Just don't expect any super thrilling attractions. But, I still think it's a good move on Six Flags Fiesta Texas' part. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for, let's talk about the brand new attraction that's rumored to be coming to Lost Island in 2024. Lost Island recently put out a teaser for a potential new attraction, stating that, quote, something hot is coming. Now, there were some kind of, like, mentions in their teaser video about RMC. So let's run through the potential coaster types for Lost Island's new coaster from RMC. I doubt it would be a hybrid coaster. I just think that's probably too big of an attraction for Lost Island right now, and honestly, they really don't need one. I mean, sure, every park could use an RMC hybrid, but I just don't see it happening at Lost Island. What about an RMC Raptor? This is a lot more likely because it's more on a smaller scale and would be much more affordable for Lost Island. And honestly, I would love to see a raptor come to this park. And no, it's not going to be an RMC T-Rex. There's no way. But there is a coaster model that would fit even better at Lost Island, and that is the brand new Wild Moose from RMC. Now you may be asking yourself, why a Wild Moose? Well, if we look at Lost Island's coaster lineup, we see they have two very thrilling attractions in Montugani and Nopuko Air Coaster, but they don't really have a family coaster. Yes, they have a kitty coaster that's like a wacky worm or something, but they don't have a true family coaster. And honestly, this would be a perfect addition. It would fill the void of a family coaster, but also providing something that's decently thrilling and the whole family can enjoy. And plus, it's coming from RMC, so it's going to have a much cheaper price tag than other family coasters. Honestly, the more I think about it, the Wild Moose Coaster is really the perfect addition for Lost Island. Affordable, fills the gap of a family coaster, and it really just makes sense. And given that this is the first of its kind, RMC might have given Lost Island a discount too, making it even more affordable for Lost Island. I really do hope this helps Lost Island kind of get itself off the ground. Because that park appears to have so much potential. They just need to build some momentum, and I truly feel that they could be a truly awesome park. Okay, that's a wrap on this week's theme park news update. Make sure to drop a like, and hit that subscribe button so you do not miss out on next week's theme park news update. And if you want to know what we all miss about Top Throw 2, then check out the video on your screen right now. Stay tuned for next week's theme park news update, and as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.